Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am taking a little break from filming my progress on my winter or snowman journals. And I wanted to show you my fall photo album that I created. And I mentioned many videos ago that I was going to film a flip through and I never did. So what I want to do today is show you what I did. And then I want to craft with you guys and make the same one, but for my Christmas photos, because I took a lot of photos on Christmas Day with my family, and I love making photo albums. I also scrapbook, but I haven't done that in a while, and I just prefer to make my own photo albums or mini albums from scratch. And this is the latest one I did. So I want to show you this. I have used uh, a Cartabella, is it Hello Fall? Um, I have to look it up. But yeah, that's my favorite fall collection and it's from Cartabella. And I made a little um, photo album that has two signatures and you, I um, put a ribbon around it with the sunflower so you can like as a closure. Well, I don't want to have to put it back on there. Okay, so as the cover, I just used this lovely paper. It was 12 by 12, but I cut it down. The cover measures eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and it has a one inch spine. So you have the five and a half, six and a half, and five and a half is 12. So you can um, use most of your 12 by 12 sheet. Um, I think I just cut one of those. They had like four um, strips of images like this. So I just cut one off. Can't remember if it was the bottom or the top one. And um, I chose this collection or this Cartabella paper because Cartabella paper is fairly thick. It has a nice texture to it too. And... I wanted this to be sturdy and not like have flimsy pages. So um, what I did, I used two papers and then I, um, in the middle, I sandwiched in a sheet of craft felt. The felt sheets that I have are nine by 12 inches. So it was perfect since it's a 12 inch um, has a 12 inch width and um, I just did it because I wanted the the cover to be really sturdy. You can tell that on the on the spine I used orange felt and brown felt on the front and back. The reason I did that was actually according to the packaging the felt um, sheets are 9 by 12 but they were a little less than 12 inches. So I just cut them in half and put them in here. And then I used a different color because I only had one brown one. I just cut a one and a half inch, oh no, a one inch strip and put it in the back. And I also noticed um, or I learned that it's actually better if you don't use one um, piece of felt or one sheet of felt. It's better for um, when you've opened them and close it if these are all three separate pieces. Okay, so let's open this thing. Um, on the inside, I just have a nice gingham paper. Oh yeah, and I also stitched it around, um, stitched around the whole thing with a brown, brown sewing thread. And then I just used one of the cutouts that came with the collection. And then um, I also like to embellish it a lot, so I use different. Um, cardstock stickers. This is a little, it's like plastic little pumpkin on pumpkin um, paper stickers. And there's my little pumpkin. We had a photo shoot on a pumpkin at a pumpkin patch. So I figured, hey, that's perfect. And then here I just framed like the different photos. And then this one is, you can take this out. And here I just cut another image out from the collection and put it in there as a pocket. So as you can probably tell, the whole thing is a little bit like a junk journal, just 
not you uh, I'm just not using junk like um, different papers and stuff I'm just using my my scrapbook paper uh, bigger picture and then uh, since you know I like different textures I have like this little felt pumpkin that I stuck in there she was the pick of the patch and each signature only has two big papers which results in eight pages one two three four and then here is the middle five six seven eight and because they're really thick they're nice and sturdy so i don't need to have like a bazillion pages plus i didn't have too many photos that i wanted to use so that was just perfect and then i have this um, apple stitched border die from lawn fawn so i cut out because I, I cut out a photo on a frame because i was handing her an apple and she's the apple of my eye and then just some more background um, paper different papers and that was the first signature and then on the second signature i used um oh wait what's happening here oh i see for some reason this is coming out. Why are you coming out? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I <laughs> I made a mistake. Yeah, I'll show you what I did. So um, this paper on the sig uh, second signature is from a different collection. Actually, this one isn't, but the one in here is. It, it was still um, pretty thick paper, so that's why I used it. Because I didn't have enough of my favorite collection. And on some papers, when they're like too busy or you don't like them, you can just put another paper on top. So you just see the bottom paper as a frame. This one is a little wild <laughs> because I wanted to use my leaves. And then I have some more of these um, little plastic pine cones. And not pine cones. Um, acorns and pumpkins. And I punched the heart out. And then this one was my dog, because we had snow in the fall, a nice felt snowflake. I probably could have used this one in my snowman journal. And that's the last page. So what you just saw, what happened, um, that this is a little loose here. It's because the, the knot that I tied, I don't know if you can tell, actually went through the hole. Usually what you have to do is when you sew this in, you have to, when you tie it, you have to have one thread on one side of this thread that goes from top to bottom and one, oops, I'm in a frame, yeah, on the other side and you tie it and then it stays put. Here, apparently I didn't. It's on one side and you can tell the thread is loose here. So that's not good. So I will have to make sure I won't make this mistake on my next journal. So, and this is just the back of the journal where you can see where I stitched it. You could cover it up with like lace or fabric, whatever, but I don't, I don't really care that you can see the, the um, thread that I used. I use embroidery floss. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the closure back on and this goes back into my shelf where I keep all my mini albums. All right, so that was fall and from the same company, um, Cartabella, I used my, um, the Christmas, the vintage Christmas, what is it called? A Very Merry Christmas collection. And I've used some of this for my December daily, but I um, saved this paper because like this one with the stri um, strips of images, I love this one as well. And it was perfect. Uh, the perfect size to just cut one strip off to get it to be um, eight and a half by five and a half. And once again, I have a one inch spine. Um, you can tell that I wasn't very good at uh, sewing around the corner, around corner here. I think I've done a better job, although I have no idea what happened here. Somehow it slipped through my sewing machine, so... <laughs> and of course it's on the front page, yeah? I mean, the front cover. The back's not too bad. Oh, well. Okay, so this is um, my cover. And again, I used 
um, felt, red and white. Those were the only colors I had, and I thought, why not? Also, I didn't have any red sewing thread. So I have like a little um, container of really cheap little um, spools of thread that I bought like at Walmart a long time ago, and I use it for my mixed media when I like to add um, texture or different um, elements into my like on my ATCs or my junk journals or whatever. And, but I didn't have an empty bobbin to uh, put some of the thread on my bobbin. So I just used um, my white bobbin and the red little spool and it worked. So now on the outside it's red, on the inside it's white. It doesn't really matter that it's two colors because hey, red and white is like a candy cane. Um, yeah, so. This really bugs me, but I can't can't do it, anything about it. And it is what it is. <clears throat> and then on the inside, I just have like this those Christmas words, or there's a song or something. Yeah, it's different Christmas songs. Okay, so what I am going to do is I have to figure out which papers I'm going to use for my signatures. Like I said before, for the fall one, I used two, pa uh, two papers in each signature, which means I need to um, find four papers. And I hope I have enough. I noticed that I cut out a piece of this one. So too bad, I'm not gonna be using that, but maybe I can use the cutouts and de to decorate. Um, oh yeah, and I also um, don't print out my photos until I have my um, album all set up, so I know what photos are, or how many photos I want to use, because I base the amount of photos on the space that I have, not the other way around. Because I also want to cut out, let's see, I didn't bring the, the pages that had the, or papers that had the cutouts, but I want to have a good mixture. Okay, let's put this aside. So, I need four papers. I really like this one and this one. And since it's both ornaments, I'm going to do put one in the second signature and one in the first. So I think I'm going to put this in the first signature because I love that. So we got two. And then this one is nice. And then now I, I'm not sure about these two because I'm going to have to cut off the Christmas li uh, Santa's list. But I also don't want to cover up the Santa, but I will have to if I put a photo on it. So maybe this one. Let's see. But then I would cover up the Merry Christmas. Ah! And then which one do I like better? I think I'm gonna go with this one. And then this one I can just cut up and use as a backing, like a frame for a photo or for the page. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Oh, Right, and what I also do, or did with the fall one, I rounded the corners. So, and the pages are actually, let's check. They are five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So, let's see. Five and a quarter, so I need to cut uh, 10 and a half wide. Let's cut the easy ones first. These guys are pretty easy to cut. Where's my paper trimmer? Okay. And if you want to do this with a paper collection that has thin paper, you could probably uh, just glue pages together uh, or paper that has a wide back side. Just glue two paper uh, papers together so you have a th um, thicker page and um, patterns on both sides. Okay, what did I say? Eight and a, uh, eight and a quarter tall. Let's see. Eight and a quarter. Because the, the um, cover is eight and a half, so I want it to be a little less than that. Okay, so what happens if I cut cut it here, and then this could be a new, oh yeah, let's do that. So I don't have to cut through the images, I can just cut here. Okay, number one 
eight and a quarter. Ah, very close. Close enough. So now I didn't have to like cut halfway through the one of those um, images. And I can still use this. And here I can still uh, cut out these little squares. Okay, and then this needs to be Five and a half, four, five and a quarter, so ten and a half. Do I want to fold it first and then cut it? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Yeah, because it's gonna be right in the middle of those images. That is perfect. See, so we fold right in between those, and now I can do five and a quarter. And oh, here we go. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I guess now I'm gonna let's see, do I want red on the outside? No, I want red on the inside. Alright, number one's done. Um my favorite. Eight and a quarter. And I think I'm gonna do some more of those uh photo albums throughout the year, depending on what collections I can find. Because uh, so far I've only used the Cartabella collections. Wait, that was... Something doesn't feel right. Eight and a quarter. Why does this feel short? No, it's not. I guess I had something cut off already? Oh yeah, never mind. I cut it on both ends. Okay. So... Double checking, measure twice, cut once, because <laughs> you don't want to accidentally cut, like make a mistake and then your nice paper is ruined. And then we need ten and a half. I'm going to uh, lower this outside, yeah. And five and a quarter. Ugh. Oh. And I apparently did not do a very good folding job. <laughs> Whatever, I can just trim it later. Okay, so we have two now. Perfect. And now we can use the blue one. Eight and a quarter. I hope you all are having a great day, or evening, or night, whenever you are watching this. Um, my day was pretty good. Um, I got a lot done today, and now I can have a nice quiet evening in my craft room before I go to bed. And I have to go, well not go, but I have to work again tomorrow. Still working from home. And that's the third one. And now I gotta figure out. First, I gotta trim off the strip down here. Brand strip. Branding strip, I think. Is this thing called? Okay, let's see. Eight and a half. Oh no, eight and a quarter. Oh, goodness, okay. Oops. Ah. Eight and a quarter. And then, unfortunately, I have to cut off. Hmm. Okay, I think. What do I want to do? Okay, I think these two will be the signature cover. Well, yeah, signature covers, and then what do I like better? Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna go with. Well, I don't like either one with the blue. These are both like. So busy patterns. 
Okay, I'm gonna turn this inside out. Yeah, I guess. And then this has to be folded. Okay, and five and a quarter. So I'm gonna probably be trimming quite a bit off. I hope I did cut Santa. Ooh, I cut his butt, whatever. He will survive. Oh, it was just a little bit of his, the fur of his coat. <laughs> okay, so now we have our signatures. And now I'm gonna uh, use the largest um, size of the corner rounding punch. have so many Christmas um, papers and craft supplies left because I made less Christmas stuff than I thought I was gonna do so I think I'm just gonna pack it all up in a box and put it away for next year but I wanted to um, I do my photo album before I did that because I don't know yet what I'm gonna need um, for the closure, I wanted to use a little felt Santa that I love very much, and I realized I don't have any left. That made me very sad. I think I may have put one in my um, December daily. Maybe I can steal it. Because it was really cute. Okay, and one more, and then we're done with this. And then we can start figuring out uh, pockets and other embellishments and how many photos I want to print. Oops, that didn't work. Okay, so let's see. This is one and this is two. Oops, and I have to put down. Okay, and then where's my cover? Oh no, my daughter's crying, but I think my husband's going going in. I left a monitor with him because <laughs> he had free time all day working on his truck. And so now it's my time to have free time. Okay, so that looks good. You open it, you have one, two. I'm not a big fan of the turquoise. I feel like it doesn't go with the rest of the collection, even though there's a little turquoise in here. But... Yeah, I think this works very nice. Okay, let me see what I did here. What did I do with the closure? Oh, okay. So I have one page that has a pocket. And then I have a few pages that have... I may have to stitch this in again. I'm going to do this another time, though. Okay. Let's do that. Let's see what I can use for pockets. But I have to get uh, the rest of the paper collection. I'll be right back. Okay. So I got my other papers and I noticed that they don't have any wide images except for like a super wide but short. I mean, it's not as tall. Um, <clears throat> same with this one. Bummer. Oh, that's the same one. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe I'll just use some paper and then I'm going to stick some of those on there. Because I think the Santa is not tall enough to make a... Do I have this other piece left over? Let's see. What did I do with it? Huh, I don't think I have it left anywhere. Uh, and then I want to see where I'm going to put a pocket. I put on this one. Uh, snowflake. Oh, maybe. Maybe a red one, and then I can stick an image on there. What else do I have? Let's 
Okay. And that one. I think I'm going to go with red. Okay. <clears throat> Question. Do I want it there or do I want it there? Am I in a frame? Yes. Uh, so I don't have to like stick something on Santa. Mm. I'm put it here. What about those? What did I do? I like this size, but I don't have anything that's this size. What is it? Uh, so it's three and a quarter by five and a quarter. Okay. I might just cut this red one in um, the right size. Five and a quarter long or wide and then three and a quarter tall. The crying has stopped. My husband has a magic touch. I don't know how he does it, but when I put our daughter to bed in the evening, um, he says goodnight and then I'll sing her a song and put her to bed. And then sometimes she just stands up in her bed and is like, nah, I want to sleep. And then if she throws her stuffy out of her bed, she cries because she wants it back. I'm like, why do you keep throwing it out? And then... After I try several times, I send my husband in, and then I don't know what he does, but she lays down and goes to sleep. So, <laughs> like, why do I even try? Pocket. Oh, I feel it's weird. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the sand, but I think I want the pocket here. Okay, so what I am going to do. To make this a little bit nicer. Oh, come on, move. I'm gonna use these scissors and cut the top a little bit. Which one did I use for the top? This one. I had quite the adventure with my sewing machine when I sewed around the cover. Um, I think my needle came loose a little bit. So I was sewing and sewing and all of a sudden the needle hit something and then it fell out and I was like, oh my gosh. So I closed my eyes because one time that happened where the needle and there was something wrong with my machine when I first got it and the needle hit the plate and it like broke I think it broke and then I shot my machine, shot it through the roof and the roof, <laughs> the room, and it bounced off everywhere and landed under a shelf. And I was like on the floor crying because I had to laugh so hard. My husband was like, what the heck is wrong with you? It was hilarious. However, this can be dangerous when it hits you in the eye. So I closed my eyes. I'm like, uh oh, turn it off. And then I had to uh, inspect what was happening. And when I put the needle back in it I don't know what happened but it it was um, it was broken so I had to replace the needle but yeah that I think that's what happened it was happening up here that's why I just restarted so I'm using a heavy duty needle because I have to sew through two sheets of thick paper and the felt okay so I am going to put my pocket in here and then I'm going to Actually, I can punch the corner already. Round corner. Yep. Perfect. Yips. Okay. How much? 
Oh, I don't know how long the first part was. I don't want to make my video too long. Um, do you guys prefer short videos, long videos, or what's like? What do you guys prefer? Do you want like fast forward in the videos when I'm like just gluing or cutting or doing stuff like this that's not interesting? Um, because obviously I'm making the videos for you guys, so I want to know what you prefer. And then I can adjust my filming. Okay, so. Here we go. We have a, uh, a pocket. And what else am I going to put in here? I'm probably going to put some images on the back, front and back of the in, uh, cover or the inside like I did on my fall one. I really like the candy cane. I want the can Oops. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry I bumped into the camera. Candy cane and maybe the ornaments. What else do we have? Oh yeah, we also have these guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to use these inside of the journal and then I'm going to use these two in the front and back cover. Okay, let's cut those up. And then I think I can start sewing in my signatures because I'm not going to put any more pockets in. Alright. So these should be... Uh, let's see. Four, eight. Okay, so these are four wide. And I need this one. I am so excited that almost a new year I'm not I don't keep my hopes up that the new year is gonna be any different than what 2020 was however I don't know I just feel like once all the holiday rush is over it's just like a, a new um, it gets calmer or time like things calm down and I don't know it just gets like more relaxed at least for me and I'm excited for the new year because there are many many things I can do. I don't have any New Year's resolutions because I think if you want to change or start doing something, you can start now. You don't have to wait for a new year. Um, so, but I'm just excited because New Year and then we're gonna have spring at some point and apparently the, the winter in, in um, Maine or in New England is not supposed to be very um, hard this year or this winter. So I hope we're gonna not going to have too many big snowstorms because we've had so many snowstorms over the past few years. Especially this past Easter where we lost power for almost a week. <laughs> that was no fun. Um... And there was so much damage, we had to cut down several trees, including a nice big um, tree that had like four, was like four trees in one in front of our house. But it was down, leaning down on our cars and it would have been, it would have come. Oh my God, there's a spider. Holy smokes. Spider, what are you doing here? Oh, oh my God, I hate spiders. <laughs> That's too funny because the other day I opened my drawer. Anyone want to see my spider? Ugh. Um, what do I want to do with the spider now? Ugh. Come on, Spidey. Come on. I opened my drawer the other day. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, and it's pretty big. Come on. Nope. Okay. Just go back where you... No, don't go in my album. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <gasps> Um, yeah, the other day I opened my drawer and I was like, I wonder if a spider's coming out because one time, oh no, don't go in this. Sorry guys. I have to, uh, 
take care. Okay, I could not catch the spider because it disappeared over there between my mug with my pens and my um, rolls of washi tape. So I told the spider to stay over there and not interfere with my video filming. <laughs> Yuck. It was like, well, not too big, but this big. Ugh. Uh, it was black and had fat legs. Yuckies. Okay, I used to have a really bad spider phobia, but I know it's all in my mind. So at one point I was actually able to touch a spider. So <laughs> I'm okay with catching them, like with a glass and a piece of paper and then bringing them outside. I don't kill, I don't want to kill spiders because I feel bad for them. Okay, back to my journal. I'm sorry for interrupt interrupting with the spider stuff. Do I want this one in the front or the candy cane? I think we're gonna do this in the front. So now, of course, I'm not gonna put anything back there anymore. <laughs> oh, now I have goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, I was saying um, the other day I opened this drawer on my desk and I was like, is there a spider in there? Because one time I opened it and there was a spider in there. Probably the same one, little guy. Okay, that's I guess that's what happens when your craft room is in the basement, huh? Glue, where are you? I'm not gonna use this one. I'm not gonna use this one. Oh, spider touched. <laughs> You're all probably laughing now. Yuck. I always tell people I I wouldn't be so grossed out if they spiders were like pink with a floral pattern. Like they wouldn't. Why do spiders have to look so disgustingly gross? Yuckies. Okay. So. Where were we? Oh yeah, winter. Also, please uh, let me know in the comments what kind of videos you prefer. If you want to just have short videos where I just share what I've done, or do you want actually want to watch me craft? Um, or do you want tutorials where I explain new stuff or ideas? I would love to hear your uh, input or get your input. Okay, what did I do with my... Yeah, didn't I just have a Merry Christmas thing here? Ugh. I hope the spider didn't eat it. <laughs> oh, it's right here. You probably saw it and said, hey, it's right there. Okay, I should probably name my spider. When I grew up, when I was grown up, uh, there was a teensy spider in my room, my parents' house, and it lived behind a poster on my wall. But it was teensy weensy tiny, and it was cute. So that was the only spider I never kicked out, and I called it Itsy, like the Itsy, Itsy spider. And whenever it came out from the post behind the poster and <laughs> saw me, it ran. I'm like, oh, you don't have to be scared of me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, but everything that's a big spider. Oh my gosh, no, thank you. Sorry if I gross anyone out here. Oh. I know they're just afraid and they just want to hide. But just go live somewhere else. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. So let's put this in here. And then... I can sew in my signatures. Now everything's here messed up again. <clears throat> One and two. I gotta make sure my my um, ornaments are not upside down. Okay, so this is good. Yay! Just let me think. I don't want to make a mistake, so I can just. Is there anything else I have to do before I sew them in? No, I don't think so. Oh man, this really bugs me that I have to open this and restitch it. Okay, neat. So I'm going to save this, like the stitching and everything, sewing in for my next video. Um, if you're interested, stay tuned. Oh, I'm almost out of glue. That's interesting. It's green down here. Have you ever seen this? Um, yeah, so 
I will see you in my next video. Thank thanks. <laughs> That's how a German would say it. Thanks so much for watching. A lot of Germans don't know how to pronounce a th, the, but sometimes my brain just switches to to uh, German and then I mess up my words and my husband always makes fun of me, especially the w and the um, v. They're like the how the way the Germans pronounce them is like the opposite of how the Americans pronounce them. So my husband always. Um, cracks up when I when when I mispronounce a word um, and sometimes I don't even realize it but yeah I mean then I tell him hey at least I speak several languages and you only speak one language <laughs> I mean he he knows he knows he's he's not serious he just teases me so yeah uh, my first language is German then I learned English and I learned French and then some Spanish but my brain is just sometimes so confused um, I, yeah. <laughs> so if I, if I say weird stuff on my videos, I apologize. It's just on some days my brain is a little overwhelmed. Or, yeah, overwhelmed. Okay, anyway, I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you all. Bye!